I'm sure that you, you have some idea of analytics, at least in terms of your stories and maybe the sports department or, or, or maybe have broader visibility than that. But give us a sense. I mean, which stories do the best? Are the are they dolphin stories still? Are they heat stories? Are they soccer stories? What's that look like? The dolphins are still the king. The dolphins are the king down here. The numbers that the dolphins draw, the page views that the dolphins coverage get is off the charts compared to the other teams. Uh, you know, the top teams are definitely the dolphins. They're number one. And then the heat when they're winning, the heat when they're winning is huge. When they're not winning, it's not as huge, but still pretty big. Uh, University of Miami football has a huge following, huge following. And then after that, you know, soccer, international soccer, any stories that I write that say the word David Beckham in it, I always try to get the word David Beckham in all my stories. <laughs> Inter Miami comma, which is owned by David Beckham comma, and then you put David Beckham as one of your search words and your search engine optimization. Um, Anything involving David Beckham or international sports stars draws huge numbers. So when I write a story that Messi may play here, that story gets very big numbers. Um, and, you know, as far as the general coverage, it does pretty well. It's probably on par with, you know, I think the Marlins, the Marlins and Inter Miami are fairly similar in numbers, depending on what the story is. Um, you know, they have Derek Jeter. He's a big star who's on their ownership team. The Inter Miami has David Beckham. So there's interest on the ownership groups on both of those teams. And then the Panthers, you know, kind of lag behind a little bit that, uh, but no, the dolphins are still, the dolphins are still King when it comes to page views at the Miami Herald. Yes. Such a great insight that you've given us here. I mean, is there something that is, maybe not paid attention to as much that you've come across or I've been reporting on recently or thought about even that from a, from a business perspective, maybe doesn't get as much t attention as it should locally uh, as it relates to sports. Um, the one thing I would say that I think gets overlooked sometimes is Caribbean. Uh, when we talk about numbers, every time that I've written anything about a Jamaican or a Haitian athlete, the numbers go through the roof. And I mean, through the roof. Uh, I wrote about the Jamaican women's national soccer team before the women's world cup. They're called the, the reggae girls because the boys, the guys team is the reggae boys. So the women's team is the reggae girls. Uh, they were training down here in Fort Lauderdale before their world cup. And I went out to their training and I wrote two stories on that team, like two features on that team. And those were, my two highest, my, the two most page views that I had for the entire year were stories that I wrote on the Jamaican reggae girls. My editors were shocked. I was shocked. I mean, I thought there would be interest, but I didn't know there'd be that much interest. There was a lot of interest in those, in that team. And then Naomi Osaka, um, she's Jamaican, she's a J Japanese Haitian. So her father is Haitian, her mother's Japanese. She's very connected to both cultures. Um, every time I write about Naomi Osaka, particularly a big feature that I did about her Haitian roots and a trip that she took to Haiti, I wrote about a trip that she took to Haiti and that story also went off the charts. So I have found um, every time that I've written an Olympic story or a tennis story or a soccer story, that involves somebody from one of the islands, it gets a lot of attention. Uh, I think maybe because they don't get as much coverage. And so when they do get coverage, everybody who is interested, you know, not only reads it, but sends it to all of their friends and relatives and puts it on their social media. Um, so I think that is one market, sports market down here that is maybe overlooked a little bit is the Caribbean. There are a lot of Caribbean people who are not Spanish speaking um, from the islands who are in South Florida and they're very, very, very passionate about sports. And I think they sometimes get forgotten.